Hello guys and welcome to this fifth working with Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add patterns to Photoshop and use them as a background. First we will create a new file pressing Ctrl N. I will set my width to 600 and my height to 800. Alright, my background color is white. So with layer 1 selected, I press Ctrl Delete. If I double click on layer 1, on the layer itself, it will open the layer style. I'll just drag it to the middle. You can go to Pattern Overlay. If you click on the text, you will see the options. You could change the opacity of the pattern, and you could also change the pattern itself. But there are only two standard patterns. So if you want to make something very original, you don't want to use the standard pattern. Also, you could scale it. So you could make the pattern really small or really big. But I will just click cancel because I want to add a new pattern to Photoshop. I will go to brusheasy.com. Now you could scroll down and see the featured free Photoshop patterns, but there are only six of them, these are the newest. If you go up and click patterns, you will see every pattern on the site. You could display them by your Photoshop version or sort by newest or most popular, but I will just scroll down and pick this pack. I'll click on it and I will download the file. It will say sign up or sign in. But you could also click just let me download the file. I'm not a frequent user. So click and it will download. Here is the RAR file. I will open it with WinRAR. OK. And now I can right click on the .pat file, the pattern. I will extract it in a folder and I will extract it in design material. Okay, now it's in design material, but I now want to use it in Photoshop, so I'll double click it and now it is in Photoshop. If I now double click on layer 1, go to pattern overlay and select an other pattern, I will see all kinds of cool looking original patterns will show up. So this is pretty cool if you want to make something original and make a cool background for maybe a website or a blog or anything you like. Well I'll just pick this one. Press OK and there is your background. If you want to make a background which I made before, like this, you will have to create a new layer, select maybe half of it, press Ctrl Delete to make it white, and double click on layer 2, press Pattern Overlay, and select another pattern, maybe this one, Ctrl Delete to deselect. And now you have two patterns, and maybe you want to create some text, then add a new layer, select a bit of it, like a banner size, control delete it, select a new part, and like so, control delete again, and now you have two white rectangulars. If you double click on layer 3 and press stroke, it will automatically put a black stroke on the rectangulars. You could adjust the size or the color and you could add some text on the white parts with the horizontal type tool and then press hello, this is my first pattern. Design.
control and drag to position it anywhere. I'll just position it here. Alright, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial. I will add some new tutorials every week.